Pandalicious! Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Pandalicious. I'm your host Sam. So I received a request um, for Japanese style pasta. So for tonight, I'll be making a Japanese family favorite called Napolitan. Not to be confused with the Neapolitan from Italy. Napolitan actually originates from Japan and has nothing to do with Naples. So in Japan, we categorize it as a yoshoku or Japanese Western food, just like me. The Napolitan was actually conceived in the kitchen of Hotel New Grand in Yokohama. It was created by general chef Irie Shigetara after being inspired by one of the military rations of the occupying American forces, of which was just a spaghetti mixed with tomato ketchup that was canned. Since introduced in the hotel, it has become a national staple in some households and has forever etched itself into the minds of many Japanese as the pasta to eat. Since the Napolitan is a family favorite in Japan now, there are thousands and thousands of recipes, each suited to the house that it was created for. I'll be reviewing one of these family recipes that I found from Cookpad Japan, and fortunately, there's also an English version from allthecooks.com, of which is linked below in the description. I've made only one change, and that is I'm not including bacon, so instead I'll be adding more sausages. Feel free to use bacon as this is my own personal preference. Okay, so basically what you need for pasta napolitan is first things first, we have one onion here cut sliced up thin, and then we have two green peppers, julienne. Then we have about well seven sausages, just chopped up sideways. Pretty much it. Next up we have about two cloves of garlic thinly sliced. A small can of mushrooms. You can you you can go ahead and use fresh mushrooms if you want. I'm just lazy, so I just use canned mushrooms. And then we have one whole can of tomatoes right there, and about four tablespoons worth of ketchup, pepper to taste, salt to taste, parmesan to taste. So it's pretty much up to you guys for these three. And of course. I'm using about 300 grams of pasta, so I've before, and that's it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to boil up the pasta. And uh, before you boil up the pasta, you know, if you've watched all these cooking shows tell you that you should put olive oil inside and some salt. Well, olive oil, bullshit, you don't need it. As for how much you put the salt in, I don't have a specific, I just go by my gut feeling, so yeah. As for the cooking time for the pasta, just cook it um, depending on the brand you buy. So mine says seven minutes, so I'm just gonna cook it for seven minutes or so. All right, chums, let's start cooking. So first things first, about, well, two tablespoons worth of olive oil. You can put it as much as you want, but I reckon two tablespoons worth is enough. So first things first, garlic's in. Garlic's in, 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 garlic's so the garlic flavor just goes into the oil. I have to tell you one thing that I really love about cooking. The smell of garlic when it's being fried like this. That smells just awesome. Next up, uh, you're going to put the onions in. Easy does it. And also the sausages. My wife just said it smells good. <laughs> So when the pasta is ready, just take it out. So what I want you to do is don't throw away the water. Just take out the pasta and just drain the pasta because you need the water later for the sauce. But now the onions are um, all nice and cooked and nice and soft. You, what you want to do is add in the tomatoes. Oh, doesn't that just look so good? Next up, remember the pasta water you had earlier? Yep, about two ladles worth of pasta water in there. What this does is it thickens the sauce because of the starch from the pasta. Put the heat up on high and let it boil for a bit. Green peppers. Mushroom, salt oil. 
Ketchup. And about half a teaspoon of sugar. And just mix it up. Thank you, darling. <laughs> After about two minutes or so, that's pretty much ready. So all you need to do is just put in the pasta and all the seasonings. So put in the pasta. Okay, now it's the best time to add the seasonings in. So first things up first, just add it as much salt as you want. Add some black pepper. And there you have it. Spaghetti Napolitano. Hope you guys will try it out. That's pretty much it. And I put some Parmesan cheese on it. And doesn't that look yummy? Okay, so right now we're going to taste test. Spaghetti, so let's try this out. Just gonna get pasta as well. Okay, here we go. Mmm, mmm, not bad. <laughs> not bad, right? If you say so myself, this is not really your traditional napoletan because usually what they use is just ketchup. ketchup. But I've decided, oh well, the recipe asks us to use um, the fresh, the, the canned tomatoes in. And it's good. Quite happy with it. Not the best, but I'm quite happy with it. So, let me get another bite. <laughs> yeah. Taste. There's just enough sourness and just enough sweetness and just enough saltiness. Nothing too overpowering because, well, we're in Kansai. And in Kansai, we have something we call usukuchi, which means um, everyone's taste buds, they like it, they, they like the taste to be a bit more light rather than strong. Over on the east, the, the food's taste is a bit stronger, but over here is a bit more lighter, so yeah, I think that's just perfect for my family. So, to rate this recipe, in terms of taste, I'd give it a 3.8 out of 5. In terms of ease, I'll give it a, well, it's just so darn easy, I'll just give it a 4. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And thank you for watching the videos, guys. If you like my videos, please click the subscribe button. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye bye. Bye bye.